Welcome to Atis Education. Today we are going to learn how to solve problem set 37. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. To get the question first, write the following mixed fractions in decimal form and read them aloud. So our first question is 9 and 1 upon 10. Let's write it in our notebook. First question is 9 and 1 upon 10. Let's solve it. Here we are going to ignore denominator. 9 is our whole number. 1 is a part of fraction that is numerator. Let's write it. Now look at the denominator. It have only one zero. So we are going to left one place from our right hand. Just left it and then place here a decimal point. Now the fraction is 9.1. How can we read it? 9.1. Now look at the second question here. The second question is 9 and 1 upon 100. Let's write here in our notebook 9 and 1 upon 100. Now look, there are tens and hundreds place behind the unit place. We all know that the places are unit, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, lakh, ten lakh, etc. Here, we are going from our right side to left side. Now from our left side left side to right side behind the unit place there are tens place then hundreds place so here when we write 1 upon 10 or when we divide 1 upon 10 into 10 equal parts, it becomes 1 upon 100. So, if we have 100 on denominator side and a single number on the numerator side, like this, we have to put 0 for 10th place and then we, are, we have to solve our even fraction. Or write our given fraction in decimal form. Take in your mind that when there is a hundred on the denominator side and only single number on the numerator side, we have to put zero in front of that number. Means here our numerator is like this nine and 0 1 upon 100 now it's easy to us to solve this in or write this in decimal form when we have three zeros we have to put here two zeros and the given number or given numerator now let's solve it ignore the denominator this is our whole number 9 and this is our numerator 0 1 now denominator have two zeros so we have to left two places from our right side this is one and this is second so put here a decimal point now the decimal fraction is 9.01 0 1 now third question the question is 4 and 53 upon 100 here we have tens place so we are going to write the number like this and then here denominator have two zeros so left two places 1, 2 and then place here a decimal point. The fraction is 4.53 upon 
फोर पॉइंट फाइव थ्री फोर पॉइंट फाइव थ्री इट्स सो इजी नाउ फोर्थ क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज सेवेंटी एट अपॉन हंड्रेड हियर दे डजन क्यू होल नंबर सो दिस इज नॉट अ मिक्स फ्रैक्शन right here 78 that is our numerator then count how many zeros denominator have it have two zeros so left two places from our right side one and two then place here a decimal point and for whole number or unit place we have to put here zero so our fraction is 0.7 8 now fifth question is 5 upon 100 here we have two zeros so we have two left two places from our right side one and for second place means tenth place we have to write here zero for it and then place here a decimal point now the fraction is 0.05 now sixth question the question is 5 upon 10 here our denominator have only one zero so we are going to left one plus from our right side and then place here a decimal point and zero for our unit place or whole number now the fraction is 0.5 seventh question the question is 2 upon 10 just like our sixth question we are going to solve it 2 then left left a 2 and then place decimal point here it have only one zero so the decimal fraction is now 0.2 its reading is 0.2 now our last question its question is 20 upon 100 here also we are going to write here numerator then count how many zeros denominator have it have two zeros one and two so left two places from our right side one two and then put here a decimal point now our fraction is 0.20 this is the solution for our problem set 37 let's practice it very well and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you in next video thanks for watching this video thank you